like to eat chicken karage or fried chicken? Well, I do. Now, let me tell you the story of the Philippine wild chicken and my adventures in finding them in my country, the Philippines. While this chicken lives in the forest together with other wild animals, these are also the ancestors of today's domestic chickens. But I have some problems. People illegally trap, sold, and even kill them for food. And if forest is their home, well, I'm afraid we are losing our trees. Because of habitat destruction and human intervention, their population is at risk worldwide. That's why what I did is that I tried to find them, identify, know their status, their origin, and their past by looking into its DNA. Well, I started my journey traveling across the Philippines to find and see if they have the body feature and the kip -kip 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 sound of a wild type chicken. And to confirm my judgment, I collected blood from their wings, hoping that its DNA will tell us its true identity. And yes, it did. Its DNA tells us that some of the chickens that I got are still wild, though some are not. And this chicken also is not a different species because its DNA tells us its close genetic relationship with the wild chickens of Indonesia and China, suggesting that this chicken might came from these countries. Now, its DNA also tells us the very bad impact of humans to them, telling us to protect them immediately. Lastly, I hope to compare this alive wild chickens with the wild chickens displayed in museums. But how? These are dead. Well, all I need is a feather and its DNA will tell us the remarkable changes that happened over the years. It's actually past versus present. Amazing, right? Blood and feather telling us the untold story and history of the Philippine wild chickens. Now, my research also aims in the protection of this animal for the food security of our future despite the worsening climate change. It's also a step in preventing another possible pandemic threat jumping from wild animals to humans. That's why I believe there is hope and now is the time to take action. So, how about you? Do you also care about wild chickens in the future of our humanity? Thank you.